Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Uh, let me take this opportunity to welcome you back at this channel. And then today, without wasting any time, we are going to look at this subject, which is called the Building and Structural Surveying and Four. Please ensure that you are hitting the subscription button and ensure that you are sharing to those who are concerned. And also you need to listen up until to the end of this video. All right, without wasting time, remember now we are in module five and module one and four, they are already I taken into precaution. When the examination can be asked to accuracy and refers to an is to the marrying a true value. So we understand uh, the key concept that we must understand is that we want the true value it is a uh, subject to error. So remember that uh, they are subjected to error in terms of the management. And then we are saying that the precision, therefore, it refers to how come to duplicating measured or observed uh, values. That is for four marks. All right, if ever we are moving on again, we've got to understand that we've got to talk about the errors and the mistakes in the uh, survey measurement. So we say that uh, there can be errors that can arise and we need to limit those errors. And number one, we are saying common mistakes and they, they are avoidable blunders, which they occur because of carelessness or temporary mental lapse. They include incorrect readings and booking of the observation and the use of erroneous uh, data in calculation. So we must ensure that we limit error uh, calculation. And then we are saying uh, we are saying uh, we are having the constant errors. So uh, according to this, we are saying are uh, those which have the same magnitude and algebraic sign. The errors can be uh, caused either by the apparatus <coughs> itself or the external circumstances to the apparatus so that it can be for a maximum of uh, four marks, right? If ever we are moving on a concept where we are talking about now the uh, errors and uh, mistakes that they happen in the uh, survey measurement. So under this, we are saying that uh, we've got two types of errors and then we are having systematic errors, which is number one, and the accidental errors, that is number two. So you need to differentiate between the two. So we are saying that uh, systematic errors are errors which depend for their magnitude and sign upon the external circumstances, such as the temperature changes, the slope of the land, and etc. effects. So uh, if ever we are moving on, let us understand that we're having accidental errors. And under this, we must understand that these are small errors uh, in observation which cannot be detected by humans under the naked or under the normal eye and normal surveying condition. So we are saying accidental errors are human errors and are not caused by the carelessness. So that this is for a maximum of uh, six marks. So it means that is three each. You've got to know those errors. Concept now, we talk about the taping error correction. So what is this? Uh, the measuring tape manufacturers do not usually guarantee the exact length of the tapes. As a result, the tapes, they are standardized. They are put into measures. So uh, we've got to understand now the terminology, what is meant by the standardization. So we are saying that this is the process whereby the standard temperature and tension are determined when the tape is in the exact length. That is for two marks. Thank you very much for tuning on. And we are giving it on. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy.